you and I might not see a gold mine in the sewage water coming from the city of Brussels. But a team of scientists are hunting for gold and silver here. All the sewage of the city arrives here and uh, in the treatment process they clean up the water which is disposed to the river back and all the solid material which contains also all the metals uh, is uh, concentrated in the sludge. Dr. Natasha Brion is collecting samples at a number of sewage sites around Brussels. They're six months into a three-year project hunting for tiny nanoparticles of gold and silver, not visible to the naked eye, at each stage while the sewage is processed. Their initial findings are that the dried out dark brown dust called sludge is the richest. And this material behind me that's falling into the container is the sludge, the material that Natasha and her team are interested in. It smells disgusting. Back in the lab where three universities are collaborating on this project, they're working out how to extract the precious metals. We would like to use nanomaterials and uh, iron oxide nanoparticles, which are magnetic, to be able to collect separately these different ions in solutions. Their initial tests find there's around one gram of gold and five grams of silver per one ton of sludge. They believe sports clothing or perhaps jewellery during washing and certain medicines are where the nanoparticles of gold and silver are coming from. Uh, their res resource is uh, almost exhausted, so you don't find them uh, easily anymore in nature. Uh, and so now many uh, scientists are trying to find all possible ways of recycling these. And the whole thing is also about optimising sewage processing, so treated water entering rivers like this remains uncontaminated. Jack Parrick, Euronews, Brussels.